Hello there, I'm Jeremy, the Cersus Specification Manager. And as a draft, BS Travel on one calls for pressurization systems on single stair buildings taller than 18 meters. I wanted to delve into whether these systems are the best way to go when developing a building, or if you should implement a two stair option protected by a mechanical smoke ventilation system. So in this video, I'm going to take you through some key areas of consideration so you can weigh up which system is best. The first thing to look out for here is cost. This is often the most important factor in working out whether a project is viable or not. We've done some research into this and we worked out the supply of equipment for a pressurisation system costs around 20 to 40% more than that of a mechanical smoke ventilation system for the same building. So in terms of equipment cost, it's more expensive. But the real cost when it comes to pressurisation systems are the hidden costs because they take up a lot more roof space and a lot more floor space, which I'll come on to in just a moment. So if you're looking at cost alone, a mechanical smoke ventilation system takes a biscuit. Next up, we'll take a look at the design time of both options. There's no way of getting around the fact that pressurization systems take a lot of time and effort to design. At an early stage, a specialist like ourselves here at Certus would need to be consulted to work through a series of extremely complex calculations in order to work out the shaft sizes and the fan sets which are going to be needed on the project. This would then be reviewed at every stage of the project design. When it comes to designing pressurization systems, it's not all bad news though. If we design a pressurization system to BSEN 121 on part six, we're designing what's known as a prescriptive system, which basically means we don't have to carry out a CFD model on the system to prove the system works, because we know the system is going to work. Whereas this does need to be carried out on a mechanical smoke ventilation system, which is serving two staircases. Due to this fact alone, I think we should give the pressurization system a point for this one. Now we need to consider roof space. We always recommend putting the pressurization fan sets on the ground floor if possible. But ground floor space is always at a premium, and nine times out of 10, they end up on the roof. And this causes a challenge because smoke rises, which means there's quite a big risk we end up pushing the smoke back down through the building through these fans. So to get around this risk, we need to have two inlet ducts going into the pressurization fan sets so that one inlet duct can be shut off if smoke enters it. Then we need to consider the quantity of the fans. And to follow BSEM 121 on part six to the letter, we recommend having one fan set per pressurized zone. So for a standard system, this will be three fan sets, one for the stair, one for the lift, and one for the lift lobby. And then as soon as you have a corridor travel distance of more than 15 meters, the draft BS Tra 1 tells us that we need to have a separate mechanical smoke ventilation system for that corridor, which basically means we end up with two more fan sets. So we could end up with having five fan sets for one stair core. So clearly having two stairs is the winner when it comes to space on the roof. Let's touch up on the size of the shaft. 0.6 meter square shafts are almost always used in mechanical smoke ventilation systems. But with pressurization systems on the other hand, the shaft size can vary between 0.6 meter square and two meter square, depending on the size and leakage of the outs to be pressurized. This additional shaft size can be challenging when trying to make it work with the building layout. From a spatial perspective, it often makes more sense to go with the second stair at around 30 to 40 storeys. So another point for the two stair here. In most high-rise residential buildings, the mechanical smoke ventilation system is used to keep the air moving in the corridor to avoid hot and unpleasant smelling air stagnating in the corridor. Without boring you with too much of the details right now, all I'd say is it's very, very difficult to do the same thing with a standard pressurization system. Next up, let's discuss the commissioning of these systems. Commissioning a mechanical smoke ventilation system with a two stair essentially involves running the fans up and checking the flow rates along with the system's cause and effects. With our pressurization systems, the artificial intelligence makes commissioning the system very, very simple. And it's a question really of just collaborating the doors. However, with a pressurization system, there's a big risk that the leakage of the building is greater than what was designed due to poor construction, which means we can't meet the criteria under BSEN 121 on part six. So no points for either on this one. Finally, let's take a look at the effectiveness of the two systems. It's hard to do an exact comparison on the two options as they work so differently. A mechanical system works by controlling the amount of smoke in the corridor so that no smoke enters the stair. Whereas a pressurization system works by pushing air into the stair to ensure that smoke physically can't enter the stair. This means that pressurization systems are great at protecting the stair, but not as effective at clearing smoke in the corridor. Because in a building more than 18 meters tall, it's absolutely essential that the stair is kept clear of smoke. I'd say in my opinion, a pressurization system is more reliable and effective than having two adjacent stairs protected by an MSVS system. So the results are in and two stairs are clearly the winner for us today. I hope this video managed to shed some light on some pros and cons when it comes to the two options we discussed. 
Obviously, every project is different, and some of the pros may outweigh the cons for you personally, and vice versa. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.